You know what I'm saying? My father. My father. I am here now. Well, I need pay perfect everything concerning my life. Show the body, show the body. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare clear and clear. Perfect everything that concerns my life. Perfect everything concerning my life. In Jesus' name. We pray. Father, we thank you once again. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you shall do. Thank you for what you will continue to do. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. There are two sisters here. You are actually sitting side by side. Today is your first day at a palm of change and service. Unfortunately. All the days of your life up to this moment. You are being followed by strong Domestic witchcraft. That witchcraft even made a mistake by following you here. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke is broken for everyone. I want to say it's not possible for you. It's already made possible by the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a say God bless you. Please open your Bible to Psalm 138. I have a word from the Lord to all who are gathered here today and all who are listening to this program or watching this program. I'd like, I'd like you to listen very carefully. If I finish this and I'm able to get onto the message, fine. If I can get to the message, the sermon, fine. If not, we stop where we are I will start praying. Psalm 138, verse 8. I want us to read that one loud and clear. Amen. Amen. Let's hear all the glorious sisters reading it loud and clear. And the brothers, our calling. And everybody together now, the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. The mercy, O Lord, is done forever. Forsake not the ones that are in there. There are 16 prophecies. I saw tell a man in the Logulua to be fulfilled to your share in the life of God's people in a year when you are alone before this year runs to an end. God do you to do me? It's not prayer, it's prophecy. I saw tell those things will happen. 
Before this year runs an end. And I want to tell you this prophecy one by one. If we stop here, fine. If we can continue, we'll go to the message. Number one. The Lord said, In this year, he will destroy lives for your sake. Oh, you are I hear to read today. That is any life that is set out to destroy you shall be destroyed. God told Joseph, Lord, we put Joseph, the father of Jesus, Baba Jesus, said, Take this baby. We, um, from Israel, that is Israeli. Take the baby to Egypt. Egypt. Until the funeral. Titi ba iseku. An obituary. Ati kedi oku. Of those who want to kill the child has been announced. That of kedi. You can take. You can take the child back. Ingwa na leto legu amano paja. So Jesus was taken away. Owa guje sujadi. To Egypt. Los Egypt. And after some time, the angel came back again. Angeli took Padawa. Say, Joseph, only Joseph, take the child, be a mono, go back to Israel. Bada lost Israel. For those that seek the life of the child are dead. Today I want to buy be a mono, want to cool. Jesus was taken away. A good Jesus grew. Then the enemies died. God killed them. Ota resi ku alone upang. In a way, Lord no. That no policeman can charge Jesus to court. Because he was not even there. God would destroy lives for your sake this year. And if there is any witch that has sworn that they will not rest until they get rid of you. They shall be buried alive. <laughs> Professor number two. As I tell you, KG, the last thing I should tell you that that strong man that troubled you last year shall never trouble you again. Three. The last thing I should tell you that. You are here. It will appear as if nobody has ever progressed in your family line. The Lord said you shall be number one. You are number The Lord said I should tell you. Please mark these words. A case I want to you a counselor. That your antagonists, they will become your agent of promotion. They, they think they are attacking you. But all they are doing you go, go to one she, is promoting you. One be your garden. Five. You the Lord said it will move you to that place where evil birds cannot see. The evil birds of witchcraft can't locate where you are. Six. The Lord said, This year, Lord, your laughter and your dancing shall come. Your day. And the gnashing of teeth of your enemies shall manifest. Seven. The Lord said, You will tear the mouth of the lion and recover what the enemy has swallowed from you. Eight. Get your. The Lord said, He will give you a live jacket. To dive into the ocean. 
and recover what the waters have swollen from your head. I prophecies for so many people here. Especially for your riverine areas. I can get you. Number nine. The Lord said, as far as his children are concerned, angels will be released this year in a number they have never been released before to fight their battles. Ten. The Lord said it will embarrass and daze you with uncommon blessings. Eleven. God said I should tell you that he will give you a seat to sit down and decorate you where they say they don't want you. Twelve. The Lord said there will be plenty of overturning and overtaking to favor you. And number 13. The Lord said, hopeless cases will begin to experience the power of God. 14. The Lord said, He will open unto you doors of favor and enlargement. The root number 15, the root of all stubborn affliction shall dry up. And last but not the least, number 16. The powers that do not want you to lift your head. They shall be buried alive. If you believe that, take a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your word and to your people. Your word which never changes. Masika pola kaya boshende la bokonte. Daribo sopo la kaya. Thank you, Jesus. Before you sit down, go to Joko, go to seven people. And say, my friend, drag them to court. Say to some persons, we are for an image. Have your seat, God bless you. Amen. Our topic is drag them to God. Amen. Amen. Point number one. 
I want you to listen very carefully to this message which I'm going to abbreviate for you in its form. Point number one is this. God is a judge. The final supreme and absolute judge over all creation is God Almighty. There is the court of man. There is a court of the devils. There is a court of the Almighty God. In the court of man, you may employ an intelligent lawyer, a sweet, strong lawyer, and you win. In the court of man, you may even bribe the judge sometimes and you win. But there is a court that is above all supreme courts. It is called the court of the Almighty God. I want you to understand this very well. One king in the Bible was dragged to that court. Let us see what happened to the king that was dragged to the court of the Almighty. In 1 Kings chapter 22, he was dragged to the court of the Almighty God. The name of this king is Ahab. Ahab had married a deficit called Jezebel. And, and Jezebel finished Ahab completely. Jezebel is the In First Kings chapter twenty-two, verse nineteen. The court of the Almighty had been put together to deal with Ahab. First Kings 22 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. First Kings 22 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramad Gilead? And one said on this manner, another said on that manner. And there came forth the spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, How? Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth. I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Now therefore behold the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets and the Lord has spoken evil concerning thee. In Genesis he the court of heaven had been summoned because this king had caused serious trouble and brought problems to Israel. And the decision of heaven was that they should put a lying spirit in the mouth of all his 400 prophets. And all four other prophets began to tell lies. When the court of God is against a person, if you even run to a prophet, the prophet will tell you lies. What happened to him? In verse 37. So the king 
died. And was brought to Samaria. As he was in Samaria. And they buried the king in Samaria. Was he Sinoba in Samaria? End of story. Or Paris. In Luke chapter 18, Luke we read an important story. An important parable by Jesus. In Luke 18, Luke verse 1. And he spoke a parable unto them to this end. That men ought always to pray and not to faint. Saying there was in the city a judge. Which fear not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city. And she came unto him praying only one prayer point. Avenge me of my adversary. Can you shout that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Shout it loud and clear. So there is a court called the court of the Almighty God. There is something known as the courtroom of the Almighty. Where befalls any enemy that a believer drags to this court? Because once the believer drags somebody to that court, over 20 things could happen to that enemy. The enemies will become enemies of themselves. They will fight and oppose themselves. They will sink in the Red Sea after the order of Pharaoh. They will be destroyed by God's angels after the order of Sennacherib. Sennacherib. They receive angelic slap like Herod received and, he, and worms ate him up. By the time David dragged Goliath to the court of heaven, Goliath received stones of fire. Why did Goliath befalls any enemy that the believer drags to this court? The way of those enemies will become very cloudy. And they will begin to look for cover where there is no cover. Any enemy that is dragged to that court is seeking for evil substitution. The Lord will just use him to replace things. Any enemy dragged to that court is seeking for compulsory and forceful burial after the order of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. Any enemy dragged to that court is writing courier letters to confusion like the Tower of Babel. Begin to move now. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh-huh. You will not shout this loud and clear. Only 
Yes, yes. Bad, bad. In Jesus' name we pray. No, no, for Jesus. Listen. Carefully. Da, da. That, that short prayer we just prayed now. If you know what it has brought out. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Someone in this meeting now. I said, position that is supposed to be yours. Was given to your enemies. But within the next one week, there shall be a reversal. That's right. Good. There is a man here. You come from the eastern part of this country. If not for the powers of your father's house. You are supposed to be one of the richest men in this country. They have been stealing from you since you were born. But right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. That's right. Yes. Ben. Yes. Ben. Anyone here in this meeting, Lord, that is under the control of any fetish power. Anyone here now that has swallowed any poison and the poison is affecting them negatively. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Yes. The poison is coming out. Poison is coming out. You, the witchcraft sponsored infirmities. The body of this person is not your tabernacle. You are not supposed to be there. You are a stranger in that body. So come out now. Come out now. Come out now. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 Thank you, Jesus. Every sickness on anybody's body. Go back to your centers in the name of Jesus. Go back to your centers. 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 In the name of Jesus. If you have looked at your life and you find that your life is following an evil pattern, this is the time to cry out seriously. Every collective captivity. In my family life. Can I hear the sister saying it loud and clear? Is that the best the sisters can do? Can I hear the brother saying the same thing loud and clear? Brother, say it again loud and clear. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus, deal with the collective captivity. I refuse to be held captive. In the name of Jesus, every collective captivity in my family line die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. Kill the 
captivity, kill the captivity. Mosapola kaya, boshentera, mosapola kaya, boshentera, bakara, bosantia. Every collective captivity in my family line. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. Mosateya bokoshentera, bokora, basanda. Jesus name we pray something is happening already that's right that's right there are ten sisters here you have been caged by this stubborn spirit husband who have been harassing your life right there where you are the power of God is coming upon you and the yoke of that spirit husband is broken it's broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. That's the first person. That's number two. Number three. Number four. Somebody have that sister. Somebody have that sister. Number five. Number six. Number seven. That's right. That's right. Yes, I, I remove the evil wedding rings from your finger. I remove it. I remove it. I remove it. I remove it. Yes. Number eight. Number nine. Yes, and number ten. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, get yourself ready again. Of wickedness in my father's house. Can you say that loud and clear? Shout it at the top of your voice. Die! In the name of Jesus, deal with the power of wickedness. Deal with the power of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. Pali kasapi ali kanta ya baraba. Ribo sopola kaya bo shente ya bo korabasa. Yes, be released, 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 be released by the power of God. Be released. Aha, 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 Jesus name we pray <laughs> we are getting a lot of results here tonight where the enemy has knocked me down I arise by fire can you say it loud and clear? Yes. In the name of Jesus. Where the enemy has knocked me down. I arise. I arise. I arise. I arise. I arise. I arise, I arise by the power of God. Where the enemy has knocked me down. I arise by fire. I arise by fire. I arise by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. While we are praying this next prayer point, if you are in this meeting tonight, and you know, nobody has to tell you, you know that in your family, marriages do not work. You better find your way to the altar here and be on your knees. It doesn't work. So just come here. That yoke must be completely broken. Get there on your knees while we pray this prayer. Say so every arrow of shame, every arrow of shame backfire. backfire. Can you say it with only anger? Every arrow of shame backfire. Say it loud and clear. Every arrow of shame backfire. Say it with only anger. Every arrow of shame backfire. In the name of Jesus, command the arrow of shame to backfire. 
Yes, every hour of shame. Backfire. 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 Every hour of shame. Backfire. 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 That's right. 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 Mosetaya Boko Shantaya Boko Baraba. Ribabo Bosenta Kaya Boshantaya Baraba. Mokatenda Bosetaya Ba. Say this loud and clear. We buy low rather every power. Bogba Bara assigned to demote me. Can you say this with only anger? Do you understand this prayer? A power was assigned to demote Samson. And the power succeeded. A power was assigned to demote Saul. And the power succeeded. The power was assigned to the most Judas. And the power succeeded. Every power assigned to demote me. Your time is up. Your is up. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the demoting powers. Today, today. Lonely, lonely. Deal with the demoting powers. Deal with the demoting powers. Continue, continue, continue. Open that mouth, open that mouth. Don't be afraid. Something is happening over there. Something is happening over there. That's right. Thou demoting power. Your time is up, your time is up, your time is up. Thou demoting power. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. Masopo koya bo shendera bo kora basanda. Ribo soponde koya bo shente ya baraba. Marabo soponde koya bo shente ya ba. Makaribo soponde koya ba. In Jesus name we pray. Lordu ko Jesus agbara. Silence, beloved. Ki da kero wara. Silence. Da kero wara. Don't say anything now. Na song ko ko mo ba i. This person that swallowed a live animal. Eni yi to be eno ko ko milo ye. Long time ago before you surrendered your life to Jesus. O ti kwe oko to fa ye revun jesu ni. The remnant of that evil thing you swallowed. E to she ku ni no buburu to kwe mi no. Has been troubling your life. O ti nda mwa ye. Right there where you are. Money be to wani. The power of God is coming upon you. Ambara lo no mba leo. And the yoke of that evil consumption is broken completely. The Lord is breaking the yoke of every evil manipulation of reproductive organs. It's in the reproductive organ. It's catching fire. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. 
Wonderful God, we thank you for a morning like this. And we praise your holy name for bringing us to another Palm of Changes session. We thank you for the wonderful, wonderful things you have been doing in this program. And we thank you for the wonderful things that shall be done here today. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Today, Loni, you have released words of prophecies upon this meeting. It is so raso tele jadi ni pa ipade yi. Lord, Uluwa. the meeting is now in your hand. We hand it over completely to you. That which you have promised to do in every life gathered here today, Lord, begin to perform it. In the name of Jesus, all those whose legs have been swallowed by the powers of darkness and the arrow of paralysis has been fired into their lives one by one let the arrows begin to go back to the senders 